Right, good morning, welcome to this week's video. Welcome to a very, very brisk Suffolk. Freezing fog today, it's probably about minus three at the moment. So after last week's fail of uh, paddling or pack rafting on the River Dee, on a brand new pack raft, I thought today we'll get out and we'll just give it a test paddle and see how it is. So we're gonna be looking at the uh, MRS Nomad today that's been sent to us by Pack or Life, the UK's distributor. So we're just out doing our normal walk. So we've got a 5K walk, set up the pack raft, and then we'll have a little paddle in it and see how it is. Right, so let's just have a quick chat about the pack raft we've got today. So the, the model we've got is the Nomad S1D. So this pack raft is designed as a pretty much all round pack raft. Um, it can paddle inshore, it can paddle calm water, and it can paddle some white water. And you'll understand why, why I say some a little bit later, because the pack raft is designed to be really, really streamlined. It's not the same sort of shape as your bog standard pack raft. It is really, really streamlined. And with a top speed of six uh, kilometers an hour, it's a pretty fast pack raft, but it is not gonna be so responsive like some of the smaller white water design pack rafts, and especially if you've got the large skeg on the back. So some people might say that the most negative point about the MRS Nomad, especially the S1D, is the weight of it. Now the pack raft itself is fairly heavy, it's 4.3 kgs, and that's including all of the ancillary equipment like the seat, the backrest, you've got the frame for the cockpit as well, the, the, the spray deck. So there's a fair few bits there that all add up to 4.3 kgs. But the great thing about all of that stuff is it gives you a really, really comfortable and versatile pack raft. So if I wanted a pack raft that I was gonna be using on an expedition where I'd be paddling it probably more than portaging or hiking, then this would definitely be the pack raft that I would choose. Basically, just down to the streamlined design of it, it's got it's a lot quicker and it's just much more comfortable once you're in it, especially if you're going to be sitting in the pack raft for a long time. So this is my first paddle of the MRS Nomad. I've had it out and blown it up and put it all together just to see how it all works. Some of the bits are a bit fiddly and a bit cumbersome, and especially on a day like today when you're cold, it's going to be a little bit fiddly to put together. But I'm sure that once it's all together and it's in the water, it's going to be a really, really comfortable paddle and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to do a proper review on the pack raft uh, at a later stage but this is literally just the test paddle that we're going to do today. So we're just at Gelderston, we're just going to set up down here. Uh, we've got a bit of frozen river down here, which is the first time I've seen this for a while. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, set the pack raft up just over there and uh, then we'll get it down onto the floating pontoon and we'll get ourselves into the water. But first I'm going to stick my dry suit on, I think. Right then, so here we go. So this is the MRS Nomad. Uh, it is rolled up quite long and there's a reason I've rolled it up like this because the internal storage system, the T-zips, are on the tubes on this. So they run sort of perpendicular to, uh, along the tubes there. So what you want to do is when you roll this up, you need to roll it so that the, the, the zips are going to stay flat because if you roll it up the other way, you're going to bundle up the zips and then you've got the possibility that the zips are going to fail. So that's the reason that it's rolled up like this. Oh, it is brisk out here today. It really is. Right then, so we've got it unrolled. First thing we need to do is get it pumped up and, uh, and then we'll get the backrest and the cockpit all put together.
So on a day like today, tempering your boat is going to be really affected by the cold. Obviously the warm air coming out of my lungs to get this up to pressure is going to cool down and obviously the pressure is going to uh, uh, release inside of the pack raft. So I'm going to get this pumped up fully as much as I can. We'll get all of the other ancillary equipment together and then we'll just give it another top off before we head off on the river. So as you can see, the skeg that comes with the MRS Nomad is a massive, massive skeg. Now this, along with the streamlined design of the pack raft, is going to make this boat track really, really well in the water. But the one thing you do need to remember is this skeg is going to limit your turning capability as well so if you do want your pack raft to be a little bit more response with your turning they're probably best to drop down to the smaller skeg right so like i mentioned before the mrs nomad comes with a hard cockpit so you've got four more pieces of bits that you've got to carry along with you and obviously four more things that you've got the possibility of losing as well so these things i definitely recommend you store inside of your bag now they're very very simple to put together so let's just look how the hard cockpit goes together so around the cockpit of the boat you've got this zip here so you just need to undo the zip and then the first thing that you need to insert is the white pipe that will then go around the back of the cockpit and then come out the other zip and you just take the other piece push that around the front and then you've got the other pieces here these are a little bit like tent poles these are and they just slot into that pipe and, and then the same on the other side and then all you need to do is just do the zip up and that is the cockpit done Right then, here we have the backrest. So it's an inflatable backrest, and it's also got these two little poles on the side that slot into the side of the pack raft. These are fiddly, and especially if you're wearing gloves and your hands are cold like today, that is a little bit fiddly to get done. But it does give you a really, really nice, comfortable backrest if you're paddling on a long distance. So you've got a loop, and you've got a female clip on both sides of the pack raft. This rod, the supporting rod of the backrest, needs to slot through that loop, and then, looking underneath that clip you've got that little piece of web in there that's what the rod needs to sit into so once the back's all clipped in all you've got to do is just clip the front supports in and they're very very simple right so there we are so that's all set up all ready to go but i think what we'll do we'll just take a look at the deck on this boat first because this deck is really really good so just take a look at this so you've got this complete waterproof deck that runs from the back to the front there but it is it's sort of semi removable if you look down here you've got a zip just here and then you've got a zip on the other side and that's velcro on the back there so that whole deck can literally be rolled and then it's got some webbing straps on the front there and then stored up if you just want to take the deck off if you want to take a dog or whatever inside of the boat as well so say it's not completely removable it's semi removable so the whole thing will actually just zip and then you can just uh, use the velcro straps to hold it up at the front so you've also got plates on the side that you can attach thigh straps if you want to have those if you're paddling into white water as well and then storage you've got four loops two on each side uh, at the stern there and then two on the bow as well you've also got a good space behind your backrest there that you can store a bag in as well and obviously that can be accessed from the back by just unzipping the back there as well Spray deck on, release handle there. You've also got these two Velcro patches on the sides there that hold it in place as well. Get through the ice. Right, we're through the ice. You sit quite high in this pack raft. It's got a nice paddling position. And the first thing you notice it's just how smooth and quick compared to other pack rafts it is.
So the main question is how does it paddle? Well it paddles really nice actually. It's a really nice pack raft to paddle. You haven't got that side to side motion that you get in a lot of pack rafts. You know when you're paddling you can feel the boat go side to side. Uh, and that's obviously down to the shape of this pack raft and, and that massive skeg as well. So the skeg is keeping you true to your course. When you stick a paddle stroke in for a quick turn, it's not massively responsive. And even if you're doing a wide arm turn, it's not massively responsive, but you've got that massive skeg on the back there. So you're not gonna get your turns in. And hence the reason why this pack raft is suitable for a little bit of pack, uh, white water. But obviously if you want a, a pack raft that puts you know very quick responsive turns in this isn't going to do it if you drop the skeg down it might help it a little bit as well but um you know all in all as as an all-round you know boat to paddle inshore calm waters a little bit of white water it's absolutely brilliant and as an expedition raft yeah it weighs a little bit more but you know you've got a little bit more speed it tracks better and uh, you've got loads of space to store all your gear as well Right, well I think that will do for today. It's been a lovely morning paddle out, a winter's paddle along the River Waveney. Really enjoyed myself. It's been great to come out and uh, just do a little test, a little paddle on the uh, MRS Packraft here. It's really, really nice little Packraft, so I really recommend this if you're looking for a, an expedition raft. I'm going to do a proper review on this Packraft at a later stage as well. So, big thank you to Packwalife, who are the UK's distributor, for sending this out to us. I'll stick a link to them in the description below. So once again, thank you for watching, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button just below there and as always a couple of videos for you to take a look at one of them being the MRS uh, micro raft and we'll see you next time on the next one